Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a very exciting video. Kathleen and ColourPop have teamed up again to create four new pressed blushes. You guys know me. You guys know I love blush. But I only use like one or two blushes. But for the most part, I literally only use one blush and that is Milani Luminoso. So what I saw, this one. My sun and my stars. I almost passed out because it looks like a blush that is right up my alley. So also releasing the Zodiac palette, which is another collab with ColourPop and Kathleen. All of these shadows as singles. Talk about these a little bit, but I have an entire video dedicated to the Zodiac palette. So I will link that um, up here and also in the description box with swatches, I believe. But if not, I'll put some swatches of the Zodiac palette right here because um, I did do swatches of that on my Instagram when that came out. So basically all of these um, shadows are going to be individually sold now and the packaging is so cute you guys. It comes in like the little compact like there's individual ones but it has the little sign on the actual compact. So this one is Scorpio and it's just so cute. The packaging is literally everything. So here's the little Aries one. It is oh my god. I'm just going to keep this like on my vanity because it's so cute. Um, so I might keep that one in like the Scorpio for my signs my sun and moon and my rising so i might keep those on there and since i do have the palette i might give like the other ones like to my friends and stuff just because it's really cute that's like a really cute gift to give to someone like a little eyeshadow with your little sign on it that is so cute okay let's talk about the main focus of this video which is going to be the blushes so there are four blushes um they do come in the pans the little packaging like the little envelope for the blushes is so cute. Little card that came in here says, hey friends, as you guys know, I love a good blush. And when we developed my Zodiac palette, I knew the Libra would be a good one. So we, we did it. We created a shade inspired by the Libra and made three more blushes so she wouldn't be lonely. And I wanted to give each sign its own moment. So I'm launching my Zodiac palette as single shadows. Love Kathleen. You guys know I love Kathleen. She's literally the sweetest person on the entire planet, but she has also some of my favorite collabs from ColourPop. They are so good. Every single time I'm never disappointed. So I have high hopes for this collab right here. This launch when I'm filming this, it is Tuesday. So tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, June 19th at 10 a.m. PST. There is no prices yet that I'm seeing, um, but I'm assuming that it would be the same prices as our normal pressed blushes and the single eyeshadows. If I find out prices, I will leave those down below. So yeah, I am wearing the Zodiac palette on my eyes right now. I'm wearing um, the Libra, the Taurus. Um, in my crease, I'm wearing the Cancer on my lid and then the Virgo kind of smoked out on my lash line. I will insert swatches of these blushes in here. Let me just show you guys what these blush- oh, I forget how big their blushes are. So this one right here is Lunar Has It. I'll be trying these blushes on today. Obviously, I don't have any blush on right now, so I feel a little weird. But this one right here is Lunar Has It. This one looks like- I forgot what the name of the blush that she always wears. But this one looks like that. It's just like a really nude, like- nude blush honestly it's just very neutral really good for like those blushes that you want to wear with like any look this one looks matte to me so we have i need space which i think this is the one that she created that um looks like the libra because i love the libra eyeshadow this one is i need space it's like a mauvey rosy blush it's really really pretty it looks like a like a satin blush almost it doesn't look too matte like the other one and then we have this one is so retrograde this one definitely looks like a shimmery blush i personally love shimmery blushes you guys know that i love a nice shimmery blush and then the one i say the best for last this one is my sun and my stars <sighs> you guys you guys, this is so pretty. And I have high hopes that these blushes won't be glittery or anything because Kathleen literally hates glitter on her face. So, um, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, that sun and the stars and my, what is it? My sun and stars shade, everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these and just see how it looks on. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do all four of these without having to take my makeup off. Maybe we can just put some foundation over it and call it a day. Start off with the shade that I'm most excited for, which is my sun and my stars, or my sun and stars, sorry. I keep saying my twice. So this one definitely is like really sheeny, but it doesn't look glittery. So I'm gonna apply this. This is my favorite blush brush. It's the Morphe E4. I don't even think they sell it like this anymore. It's like red, I think, or like a darker color. I don't know, but this is the um, blush brush that I always use. So. I'm gonna apply it. They do look really pigmented, so I'm gonna kind of dust some of that off. Just, oh, 
Okay, she's pigmented. <gasps> it's so good. It's so good, you guys. So good. Wow. Okay. It is so pretty. You can definitely build it up, but it definitely has that sheen. For those of you who don't like super shimmery blushes, this is shimmery. I will say it's not as shimmery as like Luminoso, which is like my ideal like shimmer in a blush. I do like my blushes really shimmery, but I do really like this. I think I might have a new favorite blush, you guys. Wow, finally I can like switch up my blushes. I use the same blush all the time. Okay, this one, winner. You absolutely need this. If you like Luminoso, you need this one. I'm gonna go in with the um, I Need Space, which is this one. I'm gonna put this on this side. This one is a Makeup Shack. Doesn't have a name on it or like a number, but it looks just like the other one. So I'm gonna apply this one. This one doesn't look like it picked up too much product all at, um, at once like the other one, so. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. I don't ever use blushes that look like this. I don't know why. But this one is really pretty. It definitely isn't too matte. Like, it has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not nearly as shimmery as this one. This one's really pretty. Like, very subtle. I know she likes really, like, neutral, subtle blushes. So this one is really, really nice. I like this one a lot. This one is perfect for, like, any kind of like look I feel like. Okay, so I just took a little bit more foundation and just put that on top of it. I feel like I kind of got rid of most of it. Okay, next we're gonna go in with this shade, which is Lunar Has It. And this one is like the more neutral shade. This almost looks like a bronzer, but I feel like it'd be a little too warm for that. So I'm gonna put that on this side. Let's see what this one looks like. I do have bronzer on, by the way. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I do. okay it's really pretty and I typically don't like matte blushes either but for some reason this one is really nice and it's super buildable okay I feel like I put a little too much now I didn't think I would like this one so I like it it's definitely buildable you guys saw at first it wasn't this intense um I'm gonna blend out the edges a little bit but that one's really pretty lastly we have so retrograde with which this one I'm a little nervous for really reach for blushes like this but it looks really pretty and it is shimmery i'm taking like a a different kind of brush i've taken like a bunch of angled brushes like this but i ran out of clean ones so i'm taking this one um and i'm just gonna tap off some of the excess oh okay she was she's intense she's really intense okay this one is a little too dark for me um well maybe if i kind of sheared out Okay, yeah, if I sheared up, I think I put too much on. I don't mind it. I actually like this one. I didn't think I was going to like it because it looks really orange in the pan. And usually I don't really like orangey blushes like this. But it doesn't look bad. It's really perfect for summer. It kind of gives you like that warm glow. It is a little shimmery, but it's not too shimmery. It's what I expected from these blushes. I know she doesn't like super shimmery or like glittery blushes. Like I like really shimmery blush. Like almost, it would almost be a highlight <laughs> for me. That's the kind of blushes that I like, but this is really pretty. I do really like this My Sun and Stars shade. I'm actually going to add a little bit of that more onto my face. <laughs> these, so... Mm so pretty you guys what it looks like with some highlight on top taking my pixie dude look at how busted pixie highlighter broke the other day so i kind of just like all pressed it back but okay i'm putting some highlight on top Ooh. yes so i really like all of them like there wasn't one that i was like oh i don't like this one at all um my favorite obviously is my sud and stars if you guys like the same kind of blushes as me if you guys like luminoso like from milani you will love this it is amazing it is so pretty I think my second favorite is this one which is i need space it is just a really different pretty colored blush like i don't think i have anything really like this and same for all of these actually the other three i feel like i don't really have any blushes that look like this has it was also really nice and i think with the right look um it'll look really pretty same for so retrograde say if you're gonna pick up any of them this one my sun and stars is amazing but if you don't like shimmery blushes then i would say probably i need space would be like second best for me not too sure about still about prices i texted kathleen and i was like can you give me prices on stuff please but she hasn't replied yet so i once i get pricing and stuff i will put that down below I'll update any information that i have about the collection like i said i do have a video using the entire zodiac collection including the palette so this, the shadows if you guys want a more in-depth review on the shadows there's a video on that so i will link that up or down 
I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I think they did a really good job with all of the blushes. I think they're really pretty. If you're like more of a deeper skin tone, this probably will be the most wearable for deeper skin tones. And if you're more fair, I think that these two would be good. Congrats on another great collab, Kathleen and ColourPop. You guys always kill it. You guys come out with the best collabs. It's launched tomorrow, June 19th at 10 a.m. There are the four blushes and then all the individual Zodiac eyeshadows. Hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you guys were interested and in thinking about picking these blushes up, you like kind of what they look like on. I have used the ColourPop blush, uh, the pressed blushes before, and I like the formula of them a lot. I do recommend their blushes. I think they're really good. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next video bye